Jump swag. If you haven't noticed, I added uh, a new friend to my wall. It's a monkey holding a banana like a gun. I don't know why, but I really like that a lot. <laughs> it's stupid. This week started off uh, with sleds. I'm wearing Carrie's shirt she gave me from her volleyball championship. Fireballs, fifth grade fireball champion. <laughs> See what mom looks like. And my mom decided she wanted to try doing sleds this week. More sleds. Mom upgraded. She's pulling this now. And she did the whole entire workout. And I keep reminding her her training age is 11 days. She's only been training for 11 total days. I'm done. I knew my better. So my mom was running so fast she melted the, uh, the jump rope. She set the track on fire today. <laughs> Whoops. Lesson learned. And uh, all we did was just modify a couple things. You people out there who aren't exercising, if you're watching this, you don't have an excuse. She's 50 and never exercised a day in her life, and she's doing the training I'm doing, but we're just modifying it for her. Alright. How are you doing? Good. Get off your ass and start exercising. No more sleds. Uh, the next day I had a recovery day. So I did four different sets of circuits, uh, which included bodybuilding and med balls. And I did a stretching mobility routine, including duck walks, lateral duck walks, spider mans, and inchworms. Those are not my favorite, but you feel like a million bucks when you get done with them. So I've come to enjoy recovery days. So, recovery days. Woohoo! They're awesome. And then we had to pole vault on Wednesday this week. Caroline having to do conferences because she's a teacher first. And she's a parent first, a teacher second, and then pole vault coach third, which is me fourth. <laughs> We kind of sat down and discussed some things we wanted to try, trying to get the chest through the pole a little bit more. The idea was, is if we could hit the pole without being as rigid on the left arm, it will allow a better stretch reflex, but will it hurt the shoulder? There's only one way to find out, so we decided to test it out, and from two left, since you're not bringing too much speed and the pole's not too big, it's a good way to try that type of thing. So we did. And holy crap, it worked! I was on the same pole, with the same grip with my step a little bit farther back because I was taking off a little under because uh, I, I felt good. But I was landing deeper and I was in better positions right away. And the best part is, is then we started, to, we moved on to like phase two of that. We started playing with, should the hand be here at takeoff or should it be up higher? And we found that when it was up higher, it worked a lot better for me. I was super jacked, and you could see it from videos from this week to last week, the major difference that happened in the vault. I think the next phase is, is once you hit it high, is to not leave this arm bent. You kind of hit it, punch it out, and then you start doing the next phase. I want to see if I can be a little bit more aggressive with that. And that's kind of what I was talking about last week with trying to be a little bit more aggressive with my swing, is creating more space. Any little bit of progress helps, and I'm pumped, to, pumped it's working no pain. That's rule one. If I hurt, don't do it. <laughs> Last weekend, Steve and Caroline asked me to babysit. Yeah, I love babysitting. I love your kids. It'll be super fun. <laughs> so, so they let me do it. I always think, like, why would you ask me to babysit? Do you see what I do in those vlogs? Do you know what's going to probably happen with your kids? <laughs> and this is part of what happened. So prior to going 
to Steve and Caroline's house, I went to an official super secret ninja uniform buying shop, also known as Walmart. <laughs> Yay, I get the blue one! I thought it was my clothing, it's ninja clothing! <laughs> Proceeded to teach them how to be ninjas. Because I have a lot of experience being a ninja. We're masters of deception. <laughs> so here's what happened. All right, so 10 minutes into babysitting, and this is what we did. <laughs> Rule number one, hide in the shadows. I heard something, but I didn't see anything. <laughs> All right. Oh, Squish is coming in. He wants to come play in the lead. <laughs> Rule number two, hide by things of the same color. Wait, I found one. Where's the other ninja at? Maybe I'll just go ride on the treadmill and see. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there he is. Henry, Emmett, where are you guys? Count of three, I guess. One, two, three. Oh, I yo! Where'd you come from? <laughs> no! Where were you? No, I don't believe you. See if we can... You gotta hide there again, because I, I have no idea. Ready, set, go, hide! One, two... <laughs> I can't even see you. Where are you guys? Oh, what are you doing there? Nah, -uh. You were not right there. Rule number three, hide fast and never in the same spot. One, two, <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> three. three, one, two, three. Okay, reappear and go. One, That's the same one, you need a new one! <laughs> Where'd the go? <laughs> Rule number four, masters of deception. This one, I tried to teach the kids to one of them hide someplace, another one hide some other. One would knock on the floor, the unsuspecting victim, AKA mom or dad, would walk over and be like, what's going on over here? And then they'd see one ninja, and then all of a sudden the other one would come out of nowhere and go ah! and kind of scare him. <laughs> I had all the optimism in the world knocked over to see who was knocking and it was Emmett. I'm teaching him how to be deceptive. Oh, I'm home. I wonder where I should go. Oh, I hear something over here. What's going on over here? What are you doing over here? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> and he would just look at you like... <laughs> <laughs> he was so excited about what he was doing, he couldn't contain himself any And that didn't just happen with the Masters of Deception rule number four. It happened with the... Uh, Work. What's going on over here? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Wait, where'd he go again? I don't even see him anywhere. Where is he? <laughs> himself and his wings were flapping again. <laughs> it was hilarious. It was so much fun. I don't know if that helped me back to babysit, but I hope so because I had a lot of fun. Let's see your ninja pose. You got a ninja pose like <laughs> one foot. <laughs> Next week I will do part two of the babysitting adventure because this is getting sort of long. So I will show what else we did. Yeah. We didn't just do ninjas, we did all sorts of other stuff. Like always, please subscribe. Subscribing helps me more than anything on YouTube. It helps the YouTube people like me more. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at Sean Danger Hoot. Or, if I was gonna talk like Bane. Because Danger is my middle name. Is that a good Bane impression? I don't know. If you are an office, a company, a friend, a club, a team, a lonely dude who just wants me to wear their clothes. Send me a shirt or some sort of other clothing and I will 
pretty much give you free advertising because I have been wearing them on the vlogs and I got a cool KMR shirt, an artichoke shirt. Just got something in the mail today, but I'm halfway through the vlog. So it'll make next week. I'm pretty excited to open it. What could it be? Everything I mentioned up until this point is in the description below. So please, the description is super important. Check it out. Sean Francis out. Boop! Go! Tried to play me, but you never paid me, never